Disinformation is uh, really when someone's trying to communicate information to people that is demonstrably false. So it's not just getting a mistake or making a mistake or getting some information wrong. It's when demonstrably false information is communicated to the public um, for the purposes of either tricking the public or otherwise misleading the public. Disinformation is spread, we're to blame a lot of the time. We do um, the sharing on social media. We don't always follow up to make sure that the source is credible or that the, tr the information shared is true. We share it quickly. It's real easy to hit retweet. It's real easy to hit share. And so we're to blame quite often um, in how things go viral, as they say. But also um, forwarded emails, even just telling each other across the water cooler at work is a way to spread disinformation. Here at Drake, we work really hard to make sure that students understand the importance of following up and getting the facts. These students are native to social media, so they understand the, the power that social media has in a way that maybe my generation doesn't. But we work real hard to make sure that they're sourcing information, they're following up, and they can defend the information they're sharing. Um, putting retweets or not endorsements is not enough to ab absolve yourself of responsibility from spreading misinformation. And I think that students are understanding that pretty clearly.